to tell us a little bit more. I'm very pleased to be joined now on the programme by Elise Kekam. She's the Deputy Representative for the United Nations Population Fund based in Chad. Good to have you with us. Welcome to the programme. Thank you. Now, for those that don't know, the UN's Population Fund is focused on reproductive and maternal health. So during this time, you've been trying to assist vulnerable pregnant women who've crossed the border from Sudan. First of all, do we know how many pregnant women have crossed into Chad since the fighting began? We are here talking about this major crisis where we have about 100 and. 25 people flew into Chad since uh, the month of May. 90% of these are women and children, and we have about 2,400 women uh, pregnant and who need immediate access to life-saving care. So, as you say, they've escaped the conflict, but as you're alluding to there, the conditions they face in Chad, in those refugee camps, are rather difficult. Just tell us a bit about what the situation is now like for them. This is a very difficult one, very sad one, where we are in a situation where you see a woman giving birth to a child on a cow, on a sand, with no cloth. So for now, the good thing is we have UNFPA humanitarian midwife on the count helping these women at least to have a smile to see a baby in their hand after this nine month trial. And I we read, visit, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. We visited just one of the camps in the Gaga camp where daily we will have humanitarian midwives, two of them assisting 14 babies delivery a day, averagely. And, that, and when we, that is yes, an extraordinary when, figure, 14 babies being delivered per day. Do you have enough mif midwives to properly care for those women and, and young babies? Unfortunately, no. And that's the situation where we, are. we need help. We need support to send out more midwives. We have people disseminated in three different regions. For now, we are covering one main region, which is the... What day? Then the two others, we have just two or three midwives taking care of more than 1,000 women. So really, we need support in this one. And we will mention the case of risk of being out of protection for these women who are sleeping outside. They have no place to stay. And with this, they have to go through baby delivery, which is so sad. This is painful. We just lost a child in Borota camp yesterday, and this is because the child, the mother went through this all this process without seeing a single nurse all along. As so the child could not survive. So clearly, um, immense support is now needed for those women in these border camps. As the UN Population Fund, what are you now asking for in terms of money? What do you need from the international community? We had a plan of, just for this response, we are looking for $3 million, and actually we only have like 500,000 in hand, and we need to scale up this response. We need to have more women on the ground. We need to have more psychological support to these women with our psychologists who are on the ground now, but only few of them. And with the upcoming raining season, the station is worsening because the women, they will give birth to a child and stay under the rain with this child. So we need to protect them. We need to support them. So it's urgent to bring this life-saving care to these women right now. And can I just ask you finally, you know, as we heard from our correspondent, the fighting is still raging in Sudan. Do you fear then that we're going to hear more stories like these in the months to come, more women and very young children uh, crossing the border? More and more coming up because now we are around 125 and the UN is like foreseeing about 200,000 people getting into a uh, chat in upcoming months. And then from this, always you will have about 90% being women and children. So the need is huge and the response is urgent.
So UNFPA need assistance to have more midwives, to have access even to these localities where it's difficult to get and save lives. Elise Kakam from the United Nations Population Fund based in Chad. Thank you very much.